Ooh. Hey guys, so I know I haven't made a video in a pretty long time other than the dancing videos that I've made for my church choir and um, I just wanted to do a little update because in the past months probably that I have not made videos, I have been collecting really Kuma stuff so I'm just gonna do a little haul. Um, one of the earliest really Kuma things that I bought is probably this really Kuma pencil case. Ew, my pencil is here. This is what it looks like on the back. And then on the side, this is so cute. When you open it, there's this little design inside. I got this at Chinatown for <clears throat> I think $3.99. So like $4 or something. If not, then like $8. Somewhere along the line. And inside, I always have my USB, my favorite blue pen, this Hello Kitty black pen. And yesterday, I bought a Rulakuma highlighter. Super cute because this is a highlighter. Focus. Oh, I just don't want to focus. Anyways, this is a highlighter. And then this is like a marker. And I thought that was pretty cool. And I actually got this at um, the Little Tokyo store, the one in Glendale Galleria. And I bought, this is what I bought yesterday. And it actually is closing down. So they had a 30% off sale. Oh, I wish I had a job so I could have bought more real Kuma stuff, but I couldn't. And this is actually what I bought yesterday. It is a real Kuma headband. Super duper cute. And you wear it on your head. So when you're doing homework and you're sweating, you wear this. Next thing I bought, or this was actually a while ago, I bought this at Little Tokyo next to the Rilakuma store. Or next to the Little Tokyo store, sorry. And it's, um, I used it to begin with, I used it as a phone case, but then I, um, I actually got a phone charm for my phone case and my phone charm doesn't want to fit in it, so I use it for my eye touch now. And I also use it as a wallet for a time because it has like these little pockets inside too, so it's pretty cute, pretty handy, it has a little strap, and um, on my phone, I have this really cool donut that I got at Chinatown. Um, a good thing about this is that it's cute, a negative side about this is that these sprinkles are like falling off, and it gets dirty pretty quickly, and it peels. So, I don't know if you guys really want to deal with a phone charm like this, but I like really Kuma. <laughs> the next thing I got was my birthday present that my mom bought me. It's not my birthday yet, but my mom bought me like two week early birthday present, and this is what she got me. It's a really cool wallet. It's so cute. I'm so happy because I was using this as my wallet, and it's not an efficient wallet. It says really Kuma on the back, and it's like suede I guess you would call it like fake leather and when you open it I got my cash so what it looks like a little pocket for your coins it's pretty damn cute has a lot of pockets I really like it I really like wallets like this because your money doesn't get crumpled and it's easier especially when you take the bus and then you have to like take out bills and coins and whatnot. I, I really like wallets like that. And another thing I got was this big really cool bag. Mm. Actually this bag, um, I actually got it for Christmas from a friend. We were doing the Secret Santa thing and I'm assuming she got it at Chinatown because when you get really cool stuff and the inside is not like if there's no pattern inside, I have a feeling it's fake for some reason. See, if you look inside, it, you can kind of tell it's cheap material, but I'm not sure if it's fake or not. I don't know what defines the real Rilakkuma. Maybe if there's like a price tag on it or something, or like the little um, sand X thing, you know, but I don't think this has it, so I have a feeling it's fake, but it's pretty cute. It's pretty dang cute. 
so that's it for my Rilakkuma stuff. Um, hope everyone has a nice spring break. Hopefully I'll be making more videos. Not sure because as a junior, I have so many tests to come. Uh, anyways, hope you guys have a nice spring break. See you next time.